To get started, we're all going to need to have a black crayon and a piece of light colored construction paper. Pink, gray, light blue are all good options. We will be using a white crayon or a white pastel later in the lesson, but for now, a black crayon is all we're going to need. Begin by placing your hand in the middle of the paper so that part of your arm is also touching the paper and then spread your fingers. While your hand is spread, use your other hand to carefully trace around your fingers. Watch. It's important that you don't use the crayon to push your fingers around. You control the crayon with the hand that is moving while the hand that is laying flat stays perfectly still. Don't push your fingers around. If you're pushing too hard, you're gonna move your fingers and then they're not gonna look like a hand anymore. Okay, I see where my ring left an empty space. I can go ahead and close that. Now it's your turn. Let's pause the video. So what I'm going to do next is talk about the bones that are inside of my hand. Now we saw in the video that we have a lot of bones making up our skeleton that supports our body and allows us to move, to pick something up, to catch things, to use our hands to grip and hold. We need all the bones so that we can bend and use our hands for all the different purposes we use them for. So let's examine our bones for a moment. Can you see your bones? Mm, no, I can't either. Unless you have an x-ray machine, which we don't have, you can't see your bones. But we can still learn a lot about our bones by looking at different things that are on our hands. The first thing I wanna point out to you are your knuckles. When you close your fist, you'll feel the hard, bony, bumpy part that pushes out. These are called your knuckles. Knuckles are where two bones join together and form a joint. So here's what I want you to do again. Go ahead and lay your hand back over, lining up my thumb, my index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and pinky. I'm gonna line them up. Now, I'm going to lift my hand up, but keep my wrist down on the paper. This is your wrist right here. Your wrist is the part where you would normally be wearing a watch um, or a bracelet. And when I, I leave my arm flat, but I lift my wrist, I'm gonna draw a line where my wrist would be. Oop, I broke my crayon. Okay, so I drew a line where my wrist would be. Next, I'm going to make a fist. Again, keeping my wrist lined up on that line, I'm going to make a fist and I'm going to draw around where my knuckles are, okay? So draw around knuckle, around knuckle, around my knuckle, around my knuckle, and around my knuckle, okay? I should have five lines showing my five knuckles, okay? If I went too fast, we can pause the video and go back and try that again. But what happened is I have my fingers lined up, I close, keeping my arm straight, close, and trace your knuckles. Trace, 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 trace the knuckles, okay? Now, as I'm looking at my knuckles, I also see there's other parts where my fingers bend. My finger can bend here and also right here. So I'm gonna show those inside of my drawn hand area. So I can see where it's a little bit wider right here. That's gonna be another joint joint, 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 and joint. Okay, I have one more area where my finger bends one more time. Look at how my fingers bend up here up high. So in between here and here, I'm gonna do another, 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 but don't do the thumb. If you haven't noticed, I have two joints on each of these fingers 
but my thumb can only bend in one place. It only has one joint. So I'm not going to draw a top joint here. I'm gonna leave it empty. Now, your wrist, whether you realize it or not, has a lot of little bones in here. So right below, I'm going to skip some space and draw another line in between. And now what I've done is I've divided up my hand into the areas where all my bones are. Does anyone want to make a guess how many bones are inside your hand? There are a lot. Let's draw our bones now and find out how many bones are inside your hand. Ready? Let's start with the area right above our knuckles. I'm going to draw a bone shape inside. It looks like a tall rectangle. I'm going to draw another one here, tall rectangle. Another one here, tall rectangle, and tall rectangle. Okay? If I went too fast, we can stop the video till everyone gets cut. All right, let's move on to the next set of bones that are, are, are above our knuckles into the next area. We have, they're a little bit smaller. So a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller. And this one only has one, so I'm gonna make this one a little bit pointier. And then our last, the tips are small little bones that are rounded on the top. They look like fingernails. Next, before we connect, I want you to realize that in your wrist are eight different bones. Now we cannot see them, but a real x-ray would show eight bones here. They look kind of like this. I'm gonna divide this into two rows with four bones in each row. It'll look something like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And these are the four bones that make up your wrist. Now, you also have five long bones that connect each of your fingers to the wrist, okay? So connecting my joints to my wrist are five long bones. I'm gonna make them a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna connect straight line down. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five. Long rectangles to make up my bones that make up the inside of my hand. Now, this is not considered part of your hand. It is part of your arm, but I'm also going to show two bones that attach right here. Make, divide it in half. Make one big bone that goes off the page and another. And now what you are going to do is you're going to carefully color around your bones. Let's quickly count to make sure we understand where all of our bones are. Remember I asked you how many bones are inside of your hand? Let's find out. Ready? Let's start with our fingertips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. There are 27 bones inside of your hand. If you include these two bones in your arm, then we have 29 bones in this picture. So you can go home and quiz your big brother or sister or your grandpa or your mom and say, 
Do you know how many bones are in your hand? The answer is 27. So now that we've identified all the bones, we're gonna carefully and neatly color around the bones. If I use my crayon, press down, and rub it, I can neatly color all around my bones. If you accidentally color into your bone with black, don't freak out, it's okay. You might have just changed the shape of that one bone. All right, now it's your turn. Go ahead, take your time, slowly, but carefully, color all the black around your bones. We'll pause the video, and when most everyone's done, we'll continue. All right, there is an awesome representation of the bones that make up your hand. Isn't that cool? Now, I did mention earlier that you'll want to have a white pastel or a white crayon. Once you have colored all of the black around your bones, now let's make those bones a little bit brighter by adding some white. Carefully color on the inside of the bone with a pastel, and I'm using a soft pastel. Some of you might choose to use crayons instead. Coloring each of my bones, all 27 inside my hand, plus the two bones making up my arm for a total of 29 bones. And there you have it. Boys and girls, you're done. Look at your awesome picture. You've learned not only today how to draw a skeleton hand, you've also learned some of the science behind bones, why our body has them, and how many bones are in your hand. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Please make sure you clean up your area when you are finished. Put your name on your paper and take it home today.